Let's start making viral digital content for free with Stability Matrix application on Windows. Watch till the end to see some example prompts and initial settings and fixes you'll need when you're starting with a fresh installation. First, head over to the GitHub link. Links will be provided in the video description below. Once you are here, you can scroll down and choose which operating system you are running. Whether it is Windows or Linux, we are on Windows, so we are going to go ahead and click the Windows downloadable. While the zip folder is downloading, I'm going to create a top level folder on my desktop that is going to install Stability Matrix as a top level root folder. I will just name it Stability Matrix Top so it is easy to find. And then we will take the downloaded zip folder, drag and drop it into the new Stability Matrix Top folder that we just created. From there, we will right click the zipped folder and then select Unzip Here. Once that is done, double click the application file to run the Stability Matrix installer. Sometimes on the first boot up, it will take a minute depending on your operating system and the GPU and CPU you are running before the application opens, so just be patient. Once it opens up, it will automatically detect your graphics card. You must check the box to agree the license agreement to proceed, and then click continue. Then it will open the welcome screen, I will select portable mode, which is good if you're installing this on an external hard drive that you want to be able to attach to other computers, and because it will put all of our models in the same data folder and they will all share the same models. You can go ahead and click don't share analytics or share, that's up to you. And then we're going to start off with installing Stable Diffusion Web UI Reforge. When you first load it up, it will ask what base models you want. I'm selecting one for Stable Diffusion 1.5 and one for Stable Diffusion XL. So it will automatically download those as well. Let's go ahead and get the real cartoon 3D just in case we want to make any anime pictures or videos. Now, if this is your first time doing this, it will prompt you to say you do not have a Civit API key. You will need to go sign into Civit AI with an account and then generate your API key so that you can directly download models into the Stability Matrix without manually downloading them from Civit and then having to put them in folders yourself. Once you're on Civit AI, when you first log in, I would suggest turning down your rating and turning on the blur mature content or you will be bombarded with a multitude of graphic explicit content. We are professionals, so we are going to stick to the PG ratings, and we'll go into our profile account settings in the top right, scroll down until you see API settings, and then click Add API Key. We're going to name this New Stability Matrix Key. That way it is easy to recognize. Once you see that your API key has been created, you can copy it and click Connect. Give it a second to process, and it will be connected with your account allowing you to directly download models into your Stability Matrix app. In the bottom left corner, there's a down arrow with a circle that you can click to check the progress of your downloads. Sometimes the downloads will fail. You can usually restart the downloads if there's an issue. The first one failed because we did not have our account connected with Civit AI. And then you just click on Launch. It will install more necessary prerequisites like PyTorch if you're running NVIDIA. This can take a little bit of time as it is a few gigabytes, so we'll skip ahead to where this is completed. Okay, now that the downloads and installations are successful, we're going to click, oh, it looks like there was another failure. So I'm gonna click launch again, and then it reinstalled what the issue was. So now you can see we now have default hyperlink to be able to access the web GUI interface. So now we will open the web browser. You will see the web GUI load up. By default, it shows clip skip, which VAE, and the Stable Diffusion checkpoint. We'll go ahead and click the one it came with, which was the Noob XL, which is an XDXL model, I believe. And for creating people, I usually go with the Euler Ancestral, or Euler, with the schedule type Keras. There is options for text to image, image to image, and if you see this tab over here, SVD stands for Stable Video Diffusion, which is installed with Reforge by default. It does not have the ability to let you prompt what you want the video to do, but it will add motion to an image. You can't really decide what it is though. Pick a random seed number. Make sure the ratio of the resolution is correct to what image you are putting in. There's options back here, user interface, you can go through to organize how you want that top bar to look. 
We'll probably just leave this as is for now. There is one setting that I, this one is good if you're using EBSynth or Temporal and you want consistency. Uh, do not append detect map to output. We're going to check that and click apply settings and then reload UI. This helps with memory usage as well when you're doing image to image batches and trying to achieve consistency. We're going to hop over to ChatGPT and create a quick prompt for an enchanted forest scene. That way we don't have to type it out. It gave us that. We're going to type in easy negative. We will remove that later and you'll see why. I'm going to go with DPM. We'll make something really quick and see what it makes without changing much of the default settings. We'll just leave this 7, 512 by 512. I'm on a slower machine, so we'll skip ahead till it's created. Okay, now this looks like some mystical shapes and patterns. <laughs> not quite what we're looking for. After a couple tries, I realized that it's not handling any prompts, and it's because we need the VAE. This is starting to look like abstract art. So let's head over to Civit AI again. We're going to select Stable Diffusion 1.5 and the filters and look at the model specifically for that, the top ones for the month, so that it is a recent popular model. Let's go ahead and select Realism by Stable Yogi. This one is really good at making realistic images of people. It will give us a solid baseline. We're going to take a LoRa and be able to increase the details of our output images. This specific LoRa is only good for regular Stable Diffusion models though, not for SDXL. Once the file is finished downloading, you'll navigate to the Stability Matrix top folder, and then into Data, and then Packages, and then Stable Diffusion Web UI Reforge. And then inside of the Models folder, you will see Stable Diffusion. This is where you will put your large checkpoint model of the Realism by Yogi that we just downloaded. Then we'll head over into the LoRa folder, where we'll put the More Details LoRa that we downloaded for Stable Diffusion 1.5. Next, we're going to head over to Civit AI and get this VAE. You'll download that. Once it is finished downloading, you'll put this into the models folder under VAE folder, which I'm going to, I'm going to grab the negative prompt from GPT, make the forest image again, because I think now that we have the VAE, things should start to turn out like they were supposed to. I'm going to get rid of the more details LoRa because we're using an SDXL model and it is not compatible, so it's not going to help. Now we generated apples on a table and this looks more realistic than anything we've made so far. So let's go ahead and tweak some settings. Let's move that VAE into the folder because that was without a VAE and just the better checkpoint. Once the VAE is in there, we'll go back to our stable diffusion and click refresh on the VAE selection. Let's select that one. It's pretty good for most things. Keep in mind we're only using 20 sampling steps, so the quality is going to be lower, but the speed will be faster. So we can get an idea of what we're making, and then we'll improve it later. And let's switch the sampling method to DPM. We'll leave it on Keras and 30 sampling steps, and we'll run that. Okay, now let's put in the SDXL VAE like we're supposed to, since this is an XDXL model. And now you will see we are actually starting to get that mystical forest we were originally trying to generate. I'm going to drop the clip skip back to one, and I'm going to add words like a realistic Nikon shot of the Serene Forest. That way it looks like it was taken from the perspective of a Nikon camera. I'm going to change to DPM to 3M and the sampling steps up a little bit. And since this is an SDXL model, I'm going to change the height and width of the aspect ratio to 1024 for each, since that is the size of images that it generates by default. Now you will notice it takes significantly longer to run 40 steps of a much higher resolution. It might take a few minutes, so I'm going to skip ahead. Okay, now let's take a look at this image. It looks way more magical and realistic than the shapes we were getting earlier. It looks like a pretty magical forest, almost like it's from an Avatar movie. There's some glowing energy orbs of various types, a waterfall. It looks pretty beautiful. And that's how you can play around with the different settings when you first do your installation until you start generating the images of the style you're looking for. Subscribe to this channel and join AI University on school.com today to learn how to optimize any workflow with AI tools.